Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. That's right. And this is my latest tutorial. This is a fun and easy foam bar project. I think you're going to like this. This is how to make Wolverine claws that really work. <laughs> See, I like that. So you can go like this and scoot those claws right out, and they stay out. So it's pretty cool. Fun project. I give you the template. Print this up. Trace out the parts onto foam board, glue it together, and you get yourself Wolverine claws. So let's not, um, I won't delay you any longer. We will launch right into the tutorial. Uh, we'll do the introduction and launch right into the tutorial on how to make Wolverine claws. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you out of your creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, print up the template and. Let's take a look at the various pieces. This is now the first thing we're going to do is the claws. Take that full sheet of paper and glue stick it down to cereal box cardboard. See, and there are nine of those. And then take the two remaining sheets, which are the box that it slides in, and just lightly tape them down to foam board. Just a couple of pieces of tape to hold them in place. Now, with those two pieces, um, right on them, going over the lines in the template, because what we're doing is we're putting, making an impression in the foam board to all the pieces. So now you can't really see it too well here in this, but there's now there's a nice impression of all those pieces in the foam board, so you can um, write over them, and just like that, you've transferred the pattern from the paper to the foam board. And if you, if you can, use a ruler to make nice crisp lines. See it? And make sure you know, letter each piece just as they're lettered in the template. It makes it easy to assemble. So go ahead and cut all those pieces out. And if you, an easy way to cut foam board is to make three passes. The first pass cuts simply through the top layer of paper. The second pass cuts through the foam. And then with the third pass, you cut through the bottom layer of paper, separating the piece from the foam. And see this piece A with those two rectangles? Do not cut those out. Those just mark a glue spot. Before we make the box, let's make the claws. And it's important, make the claws first because we want to size them in the box correctly. So cut all nine of those pieces out. And then we're going to go glue them together in a triplet. So glue one on top of the other. Smooth it out nicely so it's nice and flat. And then glue a third one on top. And you do that three times. So you have uh, three claws. Each one is a stack of three pieces. And that's actually, these claws are really nice. They really do well with cereal box cardboard. Hot glue if you got it. If you don't have hot glue, you can use plain white glue for this. For this part, anyway. You know, keep them nice and straight, straighten them out so they don't get curved on you while they're drying. There you go, there's our three claws. Now, snip off the ends like this so they're nice and flat. See how there's a little bit of a difference between the pieces? Cut them on the end so now it's nice and flat like that. And then glue them to this piece here. And this is piece H in your template. Just like this. Now, um, hot glue is best for this. If you want to try to do this with white glue, it's going to take some patience. Have a hot glue gun, use it for this for sure. And then glue all three on like this and make sure they're all in the same orientation. And then take these next two pieces, which are, um, let me see, these are pieces. I and J, and glue those in about an inch to an inch and a half away from that H. And these pieces are important to keep the, um, the blades nice and strong. So let's now, now that the blades are done, let's uh, put the box together. Lay down piece A. Glue piece B and C to it and go directly down. Don't go, don't glue B and C to the sides of A. Glue them directly down on top of it. Otherwise the claws don't fit in. 
Now D and E, just like this. And there's a little bit of space between those and the sidewall. See, in that way, you put your claw in there and check it. Make sure it slides freely like that. There's supposed to be a space on those outer edges. Very nice. Now, F, the back piece, goes on. Really, really, really easy build this is. You can have this done in no time. One sheet of foam board, uh, one cereal box. Give it a try. It looks really good. And then we're going to put the cover on. <clears throat> and do not hot glue that cover on. We actually want to put it on in a way that it's temp. Well, let's try it first. See, I'll show you. Does it work? It sure does. It works good. You can adjust those pieces, D and E, a little bit. Move them around a little bit if need be. But don't glue the cover on. Use some tape to put it on like this. One side is hinged and the other side has a small piece. The reason being is this way you can open it up when you want to, if you want to take the blades out or you need to adjust them or something like that or you break them and you want to replace them. This way it's very easy to open that thing up and get those blades out. If you hot glue it down, it's locked in and it's a hassle to cut it open. So now some kind of strapping and we tried a few different ways to do this to put to attach it to your forearm but this way is kind of neat and simple uh, cut yourself a couple of pieces of vinyl or cloth or leather or something like that about an inch thick and a couple of feet long hot glue one end to the box like this the second strap back here somewhere and that first strap is all the way up towards the front I'll show you why in a second. Then some pieces of Velcro or anything you can do to, to, you can even tie these in a knot if you wanted to, if you don't have Velcro. Now painting. Um, you know, I just kind of made up a paint scheme and you can make up any paint scheme you want. Put some, you know, I painted the box brown. This nice little kind of like X-Men kind of sign uh, symbol, this round X-Men with yellow. And then maybe a black X or black claws like this, and it's done. That's it. Your Wolverine claws are done. Easy to project, easy to do, and it's kind of fun, and they really work really well. I'm really happy with how this works. So I'll show you how when you put it on. Oh, there we go. There you go. Just like that. And see how the front one is um, in the palm of my hand after my thumb? That's why you put it, move it to the forward. That front strap is actually, it runs across the palm of your hand. It's the best way to do it. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Here's a couple more projects you might like. I have uh, Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade, and I have a Spider-Man web shooter that really shoots. Thank you.